Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiral Knights. Last time we in we went into a power grid, I believe it was. Yeah, with the power grid. It's been like a few days since I played. And we got power sword back to base camp, so now people will live and they won't be struck by the horrors of the night. Classic video game trope. And now we're getting a uh, transmission from Spiral HQ. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, um, hang on. Oh, this is new. Oh, never mind. It's not new. It's just poopy. This is Intel Agent Koro, Spiral HQ. We have received a stress signal from your coordinates. Do you read me? This is Meatball. Sorry. <laughs> this is Meatball Girl Skylark. I read you loud and clear, Cora. Nice to meet you, Meatball Girl. What's your situation? Tell her about everything that happened that you guys saw. Wow, sounds like you've already had quite the adventure. Spiral HQ is, um, will most certainly be interested in that artifact you recovered. It's remarkable that you were able to face off against a gremlin and the clockwork and survive. Gremlin? Clockworks? Looks like I need to get you up to speed. We've crashed on a planet known as Cradle. Cradle is a fascinating world. The entire interior of the planet below oh, its surface is an ever-changing mechanical complex known as the clockworks. Which I tried to tell you guys, but... Being me, I feel like I hate the overlapping music. It's like there's a nice music of this, and then there's the main menu. Music. I probably should have have gone to the base camp before I did this. Now I know. The clockwork seemed to be built by the gremlins, the furry race of malevolent monsters, and have not taken kindly to our presence. I like to help however I can. Where is the spiral HQ now located? We discovered a town known as Haven and have set up a base of operations there. The locals have provided us with food, shelter, and power. It's not Adisora, but it's home for now. I've pinpointed your location. Unfortunately, you'll need to cross a massive chasm in order to reach Haven. Perhaps now that your camp has power, there's an elevator somewhere leading into the clockworks. You may just be able to reach us that way. That's a big chasm. Whee! It's like a giant vagina. Thank you, Cora. I'll try to find a way across the chasm to Haven. From what I've heard, if anyone can do it, it's you. Good luck. I'm actually joining a party. This is good. That means we'll have company. Which means the mission will be so much more easier. Say... Hi to you two. <laughs> I don't think he cares. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Oh dear. It's just one of those kinds of people who's just there to play. Nothing else. Completely dead on the inside. <laughs> That's terrible for me to say. <laughs> I'm just a social butterfly, and I wish people would be the same sometimes. Because, like, why wouldn't you be? There's so much more to life when you're actually talking. And just enjoying it to the fullest. 
I try to do that every day. At least I think I do. Crossing the chasm. The journey to Haven. Oh yeah, we have the NPC of the artifacts following us around. That's cute. This guy's a moron. Yep, <laughs> this guy's another moron. If you're watching, I'm sorry. It's just I'm a veteran. I'm not used to people who are new. Oh, no. Fatsu could just walk away if he artifacted you. Head it over now or light this fuse and turn you into a million smoldering bits. Like we have no choice. This gizmo isn't worth dying over. You're a moron! He'd blow himself up in the process! Perfect. I'll keep the argument. I haven't even burned you all to the ground all the same. What a moron. I don't remember this. That devil. The whole place is coming down below. Okay, then. I think that just told me how to dash there, but I'm not sure. Oh well. Better luck next time. Yeah, I personally don't think that there's any way the gremlins could have built clockwork. It's just like, think about it, how they act, and just how they are in general, it just doesn't make any sense. They're just selfish little buggers. I think there are one of the many inhabitants of this world. So yeah, personally I think there's no way. It's just way too far-fetched. I can't but feel like this music is too upbeat for what's going on right now. Oh, lag. There we go. I'm too good, so I don't need health. So I'll do that. Get the key. Walk. And wait, I missed. <laughs> Open sesame. That's sesame for the stupid. Just have a nice bite of sesame. Such a delectable meal. Come! We need your presence! What? You're still here? The artifact is mine! You miserable knights will never have it its power. I'll just destroy you myself.
Please wait. Let's burn him. Never mind. Let's stun him. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's just... He's... He spawns enemies, but they're easily dealt with, so I don't even have to stun him with the rockets. There's a strange Christmas sip on Monsworth's cloak. He just disintegrated. All of his armor just disappeared. Schema wrath log. Work, work away from offers and you order... Never know, we have the artifact. Find a way to power it. Bring it to me. Do not betray me. I will know. H. Maybe it stands for hatred. Probably not. Thanks. Thanks, Meatball Girl. I thought we were done back there. Let's get the artifact to back to Spiral HQ before someone else can nab it. Push. Yay. It's raining. Water and ice are definitely my elemental color. Which is why my first file I immediately got ice weapons. Yay, reinforcements and a general. Oh dear. That's not good. Outstanding. I would have never expected a new recruit like you to... Wow, that fiery wreckage are alive. You really must be something else. The name's Far er, Farron. Lieutenant of Spiral Order. We had believed the entire complex was derelict until the elevators suddenly surged to life. Upon investigating the whole place, it soon went up in blaze. How did you end up here? I tell him the whole story. I see. This will be very interesting information for Spiral HQ. Our base camp is up in is in Haven, just up ahead. Head on up to the elevator and meet the other knights who survived the crash like yourself. The techs in the lab will be eager to study the artifacts. <laughs> They'll see to it once you get to Haven. Hold, young one! I am reading for the young audience! Don't worry about the others in rescue camp. Thanks to you, we have a functioning elevator system to reach them. You save them all. Thank you, Lieutenant. I'll head on into Haven. Can I talk to any of these people? No? Way out. I have no idea what he just said. But if anyone wants to translate, I'd be more than happy. I did better. Getting way too competitive. <laughs> Crossing the chasm, Haven. We're still in the level. Bum 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 bum. Fanfare. Gotta love fanfare. Hey, Meatball Girl. I see you acquired a protobomb. They're very useful and you need to deal with groups of enemies. How do I use it? Bombs are special in that they have no standard attack. And a bomb can only be used as a charge attack. So make sure to evade monsters while charging. Feel free to give it a try. Just remember to equip it. The yeah, that arsenal up ahead. I'm good. Thank you very much. I'll take the artifact to the lab. 
When you're ready, you should head into Haven and meet up with the rest of the crew. I have the feeling we might be stuck on this planet for some time. So we might as well see what we can do to help. I have no idea why I just gave him that voice. I just had a little chirp in my voice and I just decided to go with it. <laughs> Thank you for the salute, young cadets. I am superior. Oh. Clockworks. And a dead gremlin. Oh dear. Thank you for the salute, everyone. I deserve it. I'm so full of myself. It's just... I am, like, so tired, I could barely sleep at all last night. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm able to record again. After my- the <laughs> technical issue. I haven't fixed it, I'm just using a different, more crappy microphone. So the auto audio might be more loud than it usually is. Oh no, it's suddenly snowy! What could have happened? As I said in the last episode, it's the winter event right now. You made it, Meatball Girl! I'm so happy to see you arrive here, and safe and, and sound. I'll confirm with Spiral HQ that you will now be undertaking missions in Haven. To start, I've issued you a few missions that will get you acclimated with all that Haven has to offer. Be sure to say hello to the strangers as you been begin exploring. Strangers? The inhabitants of the na native of Haven are called strangers. Can't miss them. They're towering cloaked figures with masks. Despite their intimidating appearance, they've been extremely helpful to us and mostly keep to themselves. The all little birds in town seem to like them anyway. I'll be sure to say hello when I see a stranger. Great! Thanks for being a good ambassador! Lastly, I need, need you to get you up to speed on something called energy. It's very important to your mission on, on here on Cradle. Cradle. I'm all ears, Cora. Tell me about energy. Energy is an it's essential in order to acquire powerful gear and items from the supply depot. You'll find all sorts of uses for it in your travels. Just look for the energy symbol. You, energy is basically like the in-game currency you usually get with money. Or just hour, hours of grinding. <laughs> energy you can obtain in purchase of real money, transaction, or for trade via the exchange. Exactly what I just said. Sorry. <laughs> to purchase or trade energy, simply... Open the supply depot and click the get energy button. Get energy and do amazing things. Got it. I'll contact you again soon. Good luck. Lieutenant Farron is responsible for overseeing the clockworks and mining operation in the Haven Arcade. Or to him learn about the situation in Haven and Spiral HQ's mission to reach Aura Cradle. So, let's report to Farron in the arcade. I honestly could have just gone north, I think, to activate this mission. Could be wrong, probably has to do it this way, but... Yeah, the arcade is directly north, and that's basically where you do most of your grinding. That, or, or when helping other players level up. Or things like that. Either way, depending on your, on your depth, you get different kinds. Either way, depending on your depth, you get different kinds of awards. Deeper you go, the more rare the stuff. Well met, soldier, and good work on reaching our base camp here in Haven. I'm Lieutenant Farron. I've been 
I've been assigned by Captain Alzo to oversee your clockwork and mining operation. Before you lies the arcade, a fascinating complex that serves as our link to the heart of the clockworks. Since you're new here, I'll give you a quick rundown of what Spiral HQ has us doing here. Sure sounds important. Tell me how it all works. After the Skylark crash, it's me. Primarily, it. <laughs> it's primary terium core exploded. So basically, their hyperdrive or warp drive, depending on what sci fi series you're most acquainted with. Destroying a portion of the ship and leaving it without a main power source. Since so far, we haven't found on several hundred ton. Turiano just flying around, the bird has effectively lost its wings. With the help of the strangers, we're able to set up a small base of operations here in Haven. Once we get our systems online, we discover that within the heart, Throck will resonate a power center of unprecedented magnitude. If we could somehow harness that power, that's exactly right. The core of the, co of the clock works. It could very well contain an energy source we need to create a new power sources for the Skylark and restore it to operational condition. There's one problem though. The clockwork and its cells seem to be built like some kind of crazy death trap. Reaching the core is not going to be easy. I'm up for the task! Let's go kill myself! That's the kind of spirit I like to see. <laughs> To complete missions with Skylight HQ, as they're assigned to you. With your help, we could stand a chance of reaching the core and saving the store. <laughs> Why am I still laughing? <laughs> Roger that, Lieutenant. It's probably looking at me like I'm the weirdest person ever. It's like, are you? Why are you laughing? Did, did I say something? I can now offer IC to take on arcade missions. You can ask that's the arcade via your mission interface. So, or approach the gates directly here in the arcade in itself. There's a massive world beneath your feet waiting to be explored. Good luck to you. Thank you. So yeah, that's pretty I'll pretty much be going down there when I'm not recording. So you guys don't have to go through the agony of watching me do whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna cut it off off here before I get into another mission. So thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.